hello. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do an inseam or concealed pocket when you would have like on the side of a skirt or side of your trousers and you won't see anything. So this is the, the finished sample of the front and the inside sample of how it'll look. None of the seams are finished though, just to give you an idea. Okay, so by the way, you're going to go ahead and start with your two pieces, your front and your back, and they should be marked. You go up about from the bottom of the pocket extension about an inch on, and, and then into your half inch seam allowance, which is what these red dots are. This is the top part. So I went down about an inch and then a half inch into my, uh, into the seam allowance as well. So you have, this is your extension the, and then your seam allowance would come right here at your half inch going right up as a normal seam allowance. What this does is if you go back to this pocket, it gives us a little bit of a concealed uh, built in facing without having to sew a separate piece on. So that's why I add this extension over here. Okay. So the next, and then you also are gonna have your pocket bags, which are developed from your pattern off of this. We'll get to those in a, in a minute. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is with the right sides up, you're gonna sew your, oh, I have to go back to here. You'll notice that I put interfacing around the seam allowance area. This just helps to stabilize your pocket when it's folded like this. It just gives it a nicer finish and it won't let it bag or sag on you. So just cut a little strips of your interfacing and, and uh, seal them onto there. Then you wanna take your pocket bag with your right sides together. And then you'll pin them. And you're gonna sew at your one half inch seam allowance. Make sure to back stitch, just one or two stitches. And you're gonna go all the way to the end. You do that for both sides. One, and you're gonna do the same thing on this one. So you, what you're basically doing is attaching the pocket bag to your uh, built-in facing. Oops. The fabrics I'm using here is a cashmere for, let's say this, this was the skirt, but you still wanna do a nice, like a, a silk or just even, this is a rayon acetate lining for your pocket bag so you don't add extra bulk to your garment. Okay. okay, so now you would stack these on top of each other and you wanna line up the seams here. and then line them up, just making sure that they're all nice and even. Okay, start down here. So this would be the bottom of my skirt, this section, or the bottom of my trousers or jacket. And line that up here. And notice I'm pushing the seam allowance away towards the pocket bag. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start from the bottom of my jacket, skirt, or, or um, trouser. I'm gonna go up to this dot at my half inch seam allowance. go any further I'm actually going to unpin this I should have just pinned one side I make sure that that looks nice and straight and you're gonna come in here and I want you to under stitch the pocket bags before you do the top seam you could also have just done that first 
um, before I sewed it up, which might even make it easier. But I usually do it after to make sure everything is lined up right. Because once you do this, is an extra stitch. So I'm just making, I'm taking the seam allowance and pushing it now towards my pocket bag, doing an under stitch. This is just gonna help uh, move the seam allowance away from the front of your garment, and really important step. See how it's nice, it just holds it automatically and once this folds back, it, it allows that um, fabric to just fold with it. I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing. My seam allowance is towards my pocket bag. And you should probably do a light press on this before you do all these steps, but I, it just takes um, a bit in the videos to keep getting up and down and doing that. So I'll just normally finger press things for you. But you should always think about when you, after you do a seam to make sure you press it open. Okay, so now I already did the bottom, so I know that's all lined up and looks good. And I'm gonna come up here to the top. Now these are very slippery fabrics, so that in the video they may look like they're not lining up, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and pin one to hold it. And I'm gonna go to up here to the top. So this would be my waist area. So you're gonna, all this um, pocket, this pocket lining and stuff will go right into the waistband. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go a little bit below that dot for this demo. You're just creating the opening. So you could go a half an inch, you can go an inch. It depends on your design and how low your pockets are falling. Okay, so I've done that. And I'll open it to show you. See, that's our pocket bag. And you notice how the facing just folds really nicely because it's based on this stitch that we put here and here, right? So you, you have it nice and flat in there. You could also have run a top stitch here if you had like a denim or something where you wanted to see that. Now you would Determine which is your front and back, which would be notated from your pattern. I'm gonna just call this my front and this my back. So the reason I'm doing that is because the back one, you wanna come in here and just, just on the back seam allowance, go ahead and cut at an angle from where this angle is till you reach the seam allowance. And that's gonna let you bust the seam open with the iron. Like I said, I'm gonna do it with my fingers. And then you would press all of this towards the front, okay? So it should look like this. This would be busted open. Okay, so now we know that this would go towards the front. You want to stitch from the seam allowance all the way around your bag over to here. So I'm gonna put my needle right down where that seam started, the last stitch. If you're having trouble sewing this, I sometimes I put tracing paper, so I think I'll do that just to show you. When you the, if you have a silk charmeuse or something really slippery, the layers tend to wanna just move on you when you're sewing them. And the tracing paper keeps everything in place. And doesn't let it pucker. Just go right to this edge of where this stitch line is. I hope nothing. Yeah, Sometimes this stuff will want to get caught on you, so just double check it. And you can just rip the tracing paper. If you have silk charmers or something delicate, you would want to be a little more delicate about removing it. Okay, check it one more time. There it is. So now what you'd want to do to secure a pocket, just because we're used, it has a lot of stress when you're putting your hand in and out of a pocket. So now I just want to come in here where my um, pocket be opening starts and come a little bit below that, less than a quarter of an inch, and just do a little bar tack. 
on jean fabric or um, I don't know, just heavy twills and stuff, you can, they actually will put like a nice bar tack there and it'll be a little more decorative, but I'm just doing this for, really for um, practicality. Now come up here, same thing, keeping my fold in place. And then this one, yeah, I guess you go all the way up to the top of the waist if you want, just to show you. If not, you can just keep it at that quarter inch. Because now this up here will just get, this will all disappear into the waistline. And then here's your pocket. I'll show you from the inside. This part here that's loose will have to be secured to this, but I'm going to leave it like this because this would go with a waistband up here. And you want to don't want to sew it and then sew it again. You could actually just sew it all into the waistband seam. Okay, then you make sure all this is pressed really nice and you have your perfect pocket.